What up, y'all? It's your man, Abu American. Check it out. Yeah, I'm in the same shirt because this is a back to back, but I'm probably not going to let this out until like Saturday. So it should come out like Saturday. So I'm not just putting out two videos in one day and then it's like, you know, y'all get bored because then I don't put out a video for another two months. So check it out. This one's to the men. Guys. Let me give you a piece of advice, and this is very important. You got to pay very close attention. Stop, and especially this this goes for married and single men. It's even worse for married men, but single men, you need to understand the value of your time. Now, what's valuable to a man is his time. It should be valuable because you should be using your time to improve yourself, even if you're not actually like reading a book or studying something or like you know developing a business. You should be developing your principles and your ideas, your values for life. This is something you should spend a lot of active time doing. Your time is precious to you as a man because you have to build yourself in order to be something in society. That's just the way society is made up for men. It is a meritocracy for men. There is no uh, egalitarian system in place for men. We don't want it. I want to be better than the next man. I want my skills and abilities to make me shine above another man. I don't want him to be equal to me. Why the heck would I want to win first place in something if everybody's going to get $10 million and drag down the value of $10 million? So your time is used to develop yourself as a man so that you can be better than the next man. And that's not a bad thing, guys. You know, we're not always going to be winners. You got to take the L so you can be a champion. It's just, it's the necessity of life. But look, for a man, your most precious commodity should be time. It's one way. Once it's gone, you don't get it back. You can't claw it back. There's, there's, it's lost forever. Now, the most valuable thing to a woman in regards to you as a man is her VJJ. Her hoo-ha. Now, look. If you're giving a woman your time, it's like her giving you her VJJ. That's the equivalent. And actually, it's not even equal. But, let me get to that. But it's the same thing. So when you give a woman your time, it's like letting her bang you without you banging her. Now, can you imagine a world where you just like, hey girl, come here. And she comes here and like, I want to bang you. And you just bang her and then you don't talk to her. You don't spend any time with her. You just, all right, lady, get out of my face. How, have you ever met a woman that's going to let you do that? Gener okay, one night stands, I guess. But even then, like, y'all, like, spend some time talking and whatnot, you know, until you get to know her. Or I don't know whatever the hell y'all do. I don't do one night stands. I ain't never actually done one in my life. Alhamdulillah. All praise is due to Allah. But I'm just saying, whatever it is y'all do with one night stands, basically... There's time being given for her VJJ. So there's an exchange, right? So every time you spend time with a woman and you're not getting anything in return, she's banging you without you banging her. That's how bad it is for you to give a woman your time. And I, I'm guilty of this because I, like, I'll talk to women on WhatsApp or whatever else. It's a waste of time. She don't deserve my time. Women don't. They generally don't deserve my time because I ain't banging them. What the hell am I talking to you for? You. What benefit are you gonna bring me? Now let's come to the. Let's come to why it's not equal. Now check this out. If I, I give this woman all this time because I gotta spend a lot of time to get in. As a Muslim, I gotta spend time to get married. You know. But if you're not a Muslim and you're doing your thing, then you gotta spend time before you can get her pants. Whether it's one day or one month, I don't know. I don't care. That's your business. But whatever. You gotta spend time before she is gonna give you her valuables. Now, here's the thing. Once you get her valuables, that's still her valuables. It doesn't go anywhere. But your time is gone forever. You never get that back. But she always has to be JJ. So it's not equal. Your time is more valuable than what's in her pants. So stop giving your time up so easily and so freely. Stop being a time whore. You're be Remember I, I made the video about the whores yesterday? That's what you're doing when you give all these women your time. You're being a male whore. Stop being a whore, you little whore. Stop it. Be ashamed of yourself. Fooey, fooey. You should be ashamed of yourself. Stop giving up your time, you little cheap little whore. That's what you are to her. And when she looks at you like that, that's what she's doing. Now, she's like getting like 10, 15, 20 dudes. She's big pimping in the female community. Just like you're big pimping when you're banging 10 women, she's big pimping when she's got 10 men taking her out. And that's where we come to the next part. It's even worse when you go into a relationship. Because now... You're giving up your time and your resources, your money. 
I'm getting passionate, and I said I wasn't gonna get passionate. This is the same day. This I just recorded this video like just after the the Euro Horror video. Let me let me calm down here so I don't lose my point. Look, you're losing your time and your resources in a relationship. The balance is not equal. Stop acting like it's some great, valuable product that you really absolutely need. You know. I'll say it again, alhamdulillah, for non-Muslims who watch my channel, that's not going to make a lot of sense to you, but I say I'll praise you to Allah. I, you know, it took me 43 years to, to finally gain control and mastery over my, my, uh, my, little, my little enemy. He's always trying to get me to do something that I shouldn't be doing. That dude is freaking trouble. You know it too. He's freaking trouble. So that you can finally control him and like see things logically, this is why so many videos are coming out like this. You know, you, you finally get control of yourself, and it's just a good thing, man. And it's not because I got dropping testosterone. I go to the gym, man. I be working. I look at it. Look at it. You see, look at that. Like, 43 years old. Baby, nice. So, you know, I do jujitsu still. I, you know, I, I lift. I lift heavy. You know, I'm not, like, low testosterone. I still got my competitiveness. I'm an aggressive, angry black man still. But my point is, stop viewing BJJ as equal to your time. Start calculating it accordingly. I spent three hours trying to talk to this girl and get her phone number. How much money would I have made in three hours and how much money did I make just trying to get her phone number? There's no value there. You're not getting value for all that time you're spending on that woman. If she is not treating you with the respect that you accord her to try and get in her pants... And she's not according you the respect that you're giving her of your time. It's it's a bad deal, dudes. That's all she's got to do is be polite and respectful because you're giving her your time, and that's like her giving you her body. So don't be a whore, guys. And if you're married, it's even worse. Now you're giving like, now you're just giving random women your time. And it's just you know, it just man, it looks really bad, man. You know, and I'm and I'm a I'm a total like into polygamy type dude. I'm like, yo, you a man, go get your game on. You need Muslim men, you should have more than one wife. Non Muslim men should have more than one wife. It's just that's how that's the natural order of things. That's what it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be. But don't spend a bunch of time on some woman who's not worth your time. And you got a woman at home who might cook and clean for you and do all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then you spending the best of your time like trying to chat this 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 skank up and she ain't even really reciprocating in the way that she should be because she doesn't view your time as valuable as her vjj and i'll say it like patrice o'neill said you know something that bleeds every month just ugh. just ugh. it's not worth it are you gonna go and spend your time your money, let's equate your time to money. So are you going to spend three hours worth of your work time going to, to like pay for, for like some bloody tampons? Because that's what you're doing when you're wasting your time with a woman who ain't banging you. She's banging you, but you're not banging her. So stop being a time whore. Stop giving these women your time so easily and so readily. It's Women are supposed to defer to men, not the other way around. Stop doing it, guys. You're messing up the whole dynamic of human interaction, male and female. You don't see cats and dogs having these problems. Do you? Oh my gosh. Well, the dog's like confused and he doesn't know what he's supposed to do and he's, you know, he's barking a certain way to try and get the female's attention. What? Either there's interest or there's not. If she's not interested, keep it stepping, dude. Seven billion people on the planet, half of them, over half of them are women. There's more women than men. Leave all these women to like end up manless and go get yourself a girl who's going to be interested in you. This is my rant. I'm out.